สวัสดีครับ I'm JP m i s t a n t a Today is Tuesday, November 30th. Welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by pvcphuket.com. The tourism minister is saying that although Thailand has taken a few steps to mitigate the threat of the new Omicron variant of COVID-19, he says the kingdom will not take a step back from the opening plan. Tourism and Sports Minister Pipa r a c h a k i t p r a k a n made the comments yesterday, saying that the tourism operators in parts of the country have seen a considerable uptick since the reopening, with over 100,000 arrivals in the first 29 days of the reopening. However, the plan to replace RT-PCR tests with antigen test kits for the test and go scheme from December 16th had to be postponed until there is more clarity on the Omicron variant to prevent possible caseloads of over 20,000 per day, as seen during the recent wave. He said, quote, "Nobody wants another border closure, as it was really difficult for us to reopen the country." Our economy still suffers from the crisis, so there will be no more border seals unless we are in a very critical situation. In addition, b e e p o t was due to discuss with the cabinet today about allowing the sale of alcohol in blue zone areas around the country until after midnight during year-end celebrations, and unlocking sales from 2 to 5 p.m. As the current rules don't permit alcohol sales during those hours. The proposal will be submitted to the Center for COVID Situation Administration for approval. Phuket has already approved the measure to allow the sale of alcohol during the New Year's Eve countdown events until 6 a.m. on January 1st. Meanwhile, in Bangkok, eateries in the capital will be allowed to serve alcohol until 11 p.m. starting this Wednesday, extending the deadline from 9 p.m. For more, visit the phuketnews.com. Amnesty International Thailand is now under investigation by the Royal Thai Police and the Ministry of Interior to find out whether they have undermined national security and the monarchy. The investigation came at the request of a self-proclaimed network of people protecting the royal institution, which sent a letter on November 25 to the Prime Minister asking for such. On Friday, after receiving the letter, Premier Prayut Chan-o-cha. Opened the investigation into the group after they spoke out about the recent prosecutions of anti-government protesters. Earlier this month, the Constitutional Court found that protesters were threatening the democracy of the country with His Majesty the King as its head when they made their demands to reform the monarchy at a protest last year. Amnesty International Thailand are now under investigation with police, looking to see if they committed any legal offenses in a way that could affect national security. And the monarchy, members of the network and other pro-government groups rallied in front of the s i l o m complex in Bangkok on Monday, hoping to gather up to 1 million signatures in support of a campaign to expel Amnesty International from Thailand. Quality guaranteed since 2012. Call M and Painting today. Local fishermen at n a i h a r n were gifted a bumper haul yesterday when hundreds of small fish, locally called platong m a i m e i were caught in their nets set up in the shallows just off the beach. Local fishermen caught an unusually large haul along the beach on Monday, with tourists standing by in wonder at the massive haul. The fish were shared among all the fishermen at the beach in n a i h a r n with top priority going to helping to provide villagers with making food. In December 2018, local fishermen were treated to a freak bumper haul of mackerel brought ashore at n a i h a r n Beach. The fishermen brought ashore more than 4,000 of the fish in one outing at the time. For more, visit the phuketnews.com. Officials confirmed 94 COVID cases on Monday, including one tourist with no new deaths recorded. This is the first time in seven days that the island recorded under 100 daily cases. With one day left in November, total cases have reached 2,207 for the month, with a daily average of 76 and a death toll of 18. Thanks so much for joining us here on this Tuesday edition of Phuket Extra, brought to you by PVCPhuket.com. Join us again tomorrow on Wednesday. Until then. Stay classy, Phuket.
Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as 75,000 US dollars and luxury properties can go all the way up to 20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure bricks and mortar investment offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential. Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor to find your perfect Phuket property.